to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Wajuk Noongar people, and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Now, hello everyone. My name is Libby and I'm your presenter today. And I'm joined on this stage by Chris on the piano keyboard. We've also got Nick on the double bass. And we've got Mike on the drums. Today, I am going to tell you a story, two actually, very special little stories. And these stories feature a very special kind of music called jazz music. Now, some jazz music is very old and some jazz music is new. Now, before we start the story, I'd like to introduce you to some of the music so you've heard it before we start the story. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the very old songs first. The first song is called Ornithology, and that's the song that the boys just played, Ornithology. That's a very big word. Can you say that? Easy. Ornithology, that's right, it's a very big word. So who knows what the word ornithology means? It's the study of grapes. That's, that's pretty close, it's the scientific study of birds. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, it's a study, that's right, that's right. And so in our story today, we have got a bird song machine and we might be able to see a picture of the bird song machine here on the screen now when we see the bird song machine in the story it's going to make some noises like this some machine noises maybe even this noise yeah i know really fun noises so in the bird song machine are going to be some Bird noises. Can anyone out there make a bird noise? Tweet, tweet. That's right. Tweet, tweet. They're great bird noises. Tweet, tweet, tweet. That's right. Who can whistle? <whistles> Takes a bit of practice whistling, doesn't it? Tweet, tweet. That's fantastic. In our story, I'm going to ask you to make some bird noises at some point. I've actually got some bird noises up here. Have a look at this one. That's a really cool one. Uh, here's one as well. I have some others anyway. So there's going to be a spot where we make some bird noises. So I'll point at you at that point. Wonderful. Okay. Now, in our story, one of our characters, his name is Charlie. And he is a bird. And we might have a picture of him there. There's Charlie. That's right. Now, in our story today, when Charlie is saying something, usually we hear the song, Ornithology, because that means the study of birds. So let's hear a little bit of ornithology again. So that's the song Ornithology, and we might hear that when we meet Charlie. Our next character is called Stella, and she is a satin doll. So when we have Stella in the story, we use two beautiful old songs for her, one is called Satin Doll, which sounds like this. And 
and the other one is called Stella by Starlight. Can you hear the twinkling stars? Our next character is called Dizzy and Dizzy is an elfling and he loves nature. Who here loves nature? Does anybody here love nature? Yeah, that's being outside in the trees and the rocks and the flowers. Absolutely. So when we have Dizzy in the story, sometimes we use this old song which is called Nature Boy. Let's hear that. In one of our stories today, Dizzy actually whistles that song. So we're going to do that again with whistling if you can. And if you can't whistle, it doesn't matter. It takes a lot of practice. So you can sing along, you can go la la la, or you can hum exactly like that. Let's do it. A one, two, three. Of everybody. Okay, those are the old songs that are going to be in today's stories. Now I'd like to introduce you to the new songs. These are songs that I've written especially for you to join in with me. And the first one is about jazz. Now, if you want to sing along, we're going to put the words on the screen, I think, so you can see the words to the song. But I'll show you, it goes like this. Oh, also, we're going to do some toe tapping. Who can do some toe tapping? Can you tap your toes? Yeah, you might need to jump down onto the ground and tap your toes like that. That's right. You don't have to. You can probably tap them on the chair, actually. Tapping toes. And what about finger snaps? Also very tricky if you're little, but essential for jazz. You'll get there when you're older, I promise you. So this song goes like this, and it's got action. So join in. Okay, so we've got jazz is cool and jazz is hot. And you'll see the rest of the actions. It goes like this. We're going to start with jazz is cool. Jazz is cool and jazz is hot. Razzmatazz is what we got. Jazz makes you a dancing fool because jazz is hot and jazz is cool. Ready to tap your toes? Toesies tap, tap, tap. Fingers snap, snap, snap. Toesies tap, tap, tap. Fingers snap, snap, snap. Jazz is cool and jazz is hot. Razzmatazz is what we've got. Jazz makes you a dancing fool. Because jazz is hot and jazz is cool. So that's one of our songs that we're going to have in the story. The next one is about being brave. Who likes feeling brave? I like feeling brave. It's better than feeling scared, isn't it? So in this song, we do some marching. You want to jump down onto the floor and you can do some marching where you are. It goes like this. Clap your hands. Whatever we may face, we're bold and brave and true. Though scary it may seem, we'll do it as a team. We'll help each other through. Excellent. That's true. Awesome. Very good. Now, Sometimes we might feel scared. Some of our characters feel scared in one of the stories. So we've got a song about that. And in it, there's a point where you need to make a bumping sound. Can you make a bumping sound? Oh, that's a good bumping sound. And if you get scared by that sound, you might jump. So you go, something went bump. 
That made me jump. <gasps> Very good. And then there's also a bit that goes, what was that? <gasps> and we're going to make a gasping sound like that because we're a bit scared. I'll show you how the song goes. It goes like this. <laughs> what was that? <gasps> what was that? <gasps> Off in the distance. What was that? <gasps> what was that? Something went bump, that made me jump. What was that? What was that? Off in the distance, what was that? What was that? Everyone listen. Great job. Do you know what? We've got one more song to learn before we get on with the story. So I kind of know it's a very long introduction, isn't it? This song is a very beautiful old song called How High the Moon. And it's about the moon, obviously. And I have written another little song to sing over the top of it. And it's got some actions. We're going to make a moon shape with our hands. And we're going to shine and gleam. That's right. And then... The starry night sparkles your hands like twinkle, twinkle, that's right. And then we go, what a sight. And then we'll hear the twinkling stars, which I've put over this side of the stage. Yeah. Oh, there's the moon. We've learned the main songs. Congratulations. Give yourselves a round of applause. There still are some other songs in the show. So the lyrics will go up onto the screen and then I'll sing along and you can just join in if you feel like it. How does that sound? Sound like a plan? Okay. So does that mean that you're ready to hear the adventures of Charlie, Dizzy and Stella? Great. Here we go. First adventure, the day the birds wouldn't sing. best friends of whom you've never heard were oddly an elfling, a doll and a bird. Sometimes at first glance we find odd friends just strange, but when you look twice and at very close range, you'll find they make sense in the oddest of ways and you'll see why they're friends for all of their days. For Charlie the bird he loved bird song, you see. And spent most of his time sitting up in a tree. And our sweet satin doll, our pretty blue Stella, loved all of the animals, just like Cinderella. And 
Dizzy, the elfling, a true nature boy, he loved the whole planet. The earth was his joy. And our little band, our rare motley crew, went hunting each day for a jazzy to do. So they would set out each morning quite early to see what was causing the day's hurly burly. They'd bring home a tale, a great story or two, a tale they could tell to good children like you. Okay, it's time for our first song. It sounds like this. This is where our story starts. Hope and courage in our hearts. This is where our story starts. This is where our story starts. This is where our story starts. Hope and courage in our hearts. This is where Day, they met at the lake and truly so early they weren't quite awake so they didn't notice at first the strange sound of nothing at all no bird song around shh shh everything is still shh Not even a trill. Shh, shh. Not even a thrush. Shh, shh. All I hear is hush. At first, Charlie said, This thing is quite queer. I fear there is something quite wrong with my ear. And then Dizzy heard it, or rather, he didn't. It seemed that the birds had all gone or were hidden. Shh, shh, everything is still. Not even a trill. Shh, shh. Not even a thrush. Shh, shh. All I hear is hush. They searched and they hunted up high and low down in canopies green and lake sludge all brown. They found a few frogs and many tadpoles, but not one sole bird in those sludgy brown holes. And Stella was sad for the birds made her happy. And without their song, the world just seemed sappy. And Dizzy was blue for the birds made him glad. And strangely, without them, the world just seems sad. But Charlie just wept the saddest of tears and wished there was something just wrong with his ears. Now, this song is very, very sad, but it's quite fun to sing. So join in if you like. Boo, hoo, wow. As they turned over a dirty brown leaf, a great 
Toad jumped out and to their relief said, I know what's happened. The birds are not gone. They've just lost their voices. A troll stole their song. He sang them a lullaby, a sweet birdland treat, a little hot jazz that was slightly offbeat. You ready for your jazz song? Ready for our actions? Jazz is cool and jazz is hot. Razzmatazz is what we got. Jazz makes you a dancing fool cause jazz is hot and jazz is cool. Let's sing that again. Jazz is cool and jazz is hot. Razzmatazz is what we got. Jazz makes you a dancing fool cause jazz is hot and jazz is cool. Ready to tap your toes? Toesies tap, tap, tap. Fingers snap, snap, snap. Toesies tap, tap, tap. Fingers snap, snap, snap. Jazz is cool and jazz is hot. Razzmatazz is what we've got. Jazz makes you a dancing fool, cause jazz is hot. Jazz is cool. And then just it seemed that one by one their bird song was gone until there was none. Then Dizzy and Charlie were quiet but not Stella. She jumped up and down and said, Thank you, fine fella. She hugged that fat toad and said, here's what we'll do. We'll find that old troll and we'll show him our crew. Thanks, Mr. Toad, for your assistance. Thank you, here's what we'll do. Find that old troll, show him our crew. We're off on a journey. said Charlie. This troll might be big. Oh yes, answered Dizzy and riding a pig. He might have a booger as big as a pear. And what's even worse, maybe riding a bear. You're scaredy, said Stella. Well, you shouldn't be. He's only one troll and together we're Okay, ready to be brave? Do some claps. Marching, here we go. Whatever we may face, we're bold and brave and true. Though scary it may seem, we'll do it as a team. We'll help each other through. Let's sing that again. Whatever we may face, we're bold and brave and true. Though scary it may seem, we'll do it as a team. We'll help each other through. So out our crew strode and they sang as they travelled through boggy wetlands and hot roads all gravelled until they did come to the grotty troll tree and stood there determined our brave Jazzy Three. Whatever we may face, we're bold and brave and true. The scary it may seem, we'll do it as a team, we'll help each other through. Then Charlie called out, his voice all a quaver. Oh 
Oh dear, Mr. Troll, could you do us a favour? And out came the troll, a vile looking fellow with hairy green teeth and big boogers yellow. And truly it seemed that he did have a pig. But he was pale blue and not very big. What do you want? asked the pale blue troll. So Dizzy called, only the bird song you stole. The blue troll called back, well, too bad for you. I'm keeping it here because I'm so very blue and I play it to sleep by. I'm so very mean that I'm keeping it here in my bird song machine. Ready to make some bird noises? Can't have it back, you never will get it. But I have a pig here, if you like you may pet it. Then Stella called back and her voice did not quaver, for even though she's just a doll, she's much braver. She called to the troll, what if we could help you? and stop you from feeling so terribly blue. Would you give back the bird song? Would that be a deal? If instead of all blue, we could make you feel teal? The troll bluffed and blustered and sniffled his snot. And then he called back, I guess so, why not? If you'll come and visit me sometimes, you'll see it would stop me from feeling so blue in my tree. Come and have tea with me once in a while and I'll put my bird song machine on reverse dial. And so he did, true to his word. And song was returned to each of the birds. Let's hear those bird noises. At first they were backwards, reverse dial, you see. It sorted while making some tea. For his new friends, Dizzy, Stella, Well, for this crew of three. Charlie the bird, Dizzy the elfling, Stella our satin doll. Finding the fun and adventure or two, it's always a journey. The bird, Dizzy the elfling, Stella our satin doll, finding the fun and adventure or two, it's always a jazzy to do. Now, before we go on, let's all have a little break, time to stretch, breathe and shake, let's all have Let's all have a little break. Shall we do that? Let's all have a little break. Time to stretch and breathe and shake. Let's all have a little break. Let's all have a little break. Let's 
have a break, can't you? We stand up, stand up, have a stretch. Take in a few big, deep breaths. That feels good, doesn't it? Stretch out the legs. Oh, yeah, hip flexor. Yeah, that feels good. And now shake it all out. Does that feel better? Okay, now let's move on, shall we? Would you like to hear some more? I've another tale in store. Would you like to hear some more? Would you like to hear some more? Would you like to hear another one? It's called The Second Adventure, The Night the Moon Lost Its Shine. Are you ready? Have a seat and we will continue. But this one long hot day, they did not feel quite right. So Dizzy said, hey, let's go out in the night. I'll bet there are lizards and birds with night songs. And possibly even a bunyip that pongs. Then we can escape this terrible heat and who knows what wonderful creatures we'll meet. But Stella, though brave, was a little more cautious and said, you know, Dizzy, the pongs make me nauseous and all sorts of things can go bump in the night. Said Charlie to Dizzy, yes, Stella is right. Besides it's dark out, we can't see where we're going. And I think I hear some weird wood bird a crowing. Babies, you can't just stay put. We've been cooped up inside this old house all the day. And frankly, my dears, I'm ready to play. Let's have some fun on an adventure. Let's go do something new. Let's have some fun and adventure or two. Let's go on a journey. Let's have some fun on an adventure. Let's go do something new. Let's have some fun, an adventure or two. Let's go on a jazzy to do. So off they did go out into the night. It was still as a graveyard, the moon shining bright. Light us with your 
Then all of a sudden came one blinding flash and the moon just went out with a deafening crash. And when our three brave friends did open their eyes, they found to their horror and utter surprise that the stars had gone too, not one left in sight, and had left them in blackness and blind in the night. Said Charlie, we should have just stayed on the porch. Said Dizzy, look Charlie, I've brought my best torch. It's a red one you see and they always glow brighter. But Charlie grabbed Stella and held her hand tighter while Dizzy just whistled his signature tune and said, well friends, it seems we must rescue the moon. Asked Stell, what direction? Said Dizzy, we're going to find her reflection. I saw it just once in a green billabong, not too far from where our bird friends lost their song. If I was a dirty, low down moon reaper, I'd find her reflection. That's where I'd keep her. Good plan, replied Charlie, but perhaps I misheard with my ears full of feathers. But was that one word that you uttered before you spoke of a song? Did you happen to say the word Billabong? Yes, Charlie, said Dizzy, I'm sure that she's there. Then Charlie went green from his toes to his hair. I'm not coming, he shouted. I'll sit this one out. And he would have pouted if birds could pout. Dizzy and Stella could not leave him there. So Stella demanded, and this was quite rare, that Charlie come with them to rescue the moon. And it turns out it was not a moment too soon. Oh dear, what's there? Ready to bump? Let's make our bumping noises. Something went bump, that made me jump. Something for there in the shadows a mean bunyip lurked. He was slimy and snotty and constantly smirked. And there in his hand held a big black balloon and trapped right inside was the silvery moon. And for quite a while he had dined just on fish, so Charlie the bird well, he looked quite delish. So our three brave fellows set off at a pace with a bag of spare batteries, just in case, and made quite good time to that watering hole. Aside from that run-in with the telephone pole, But sadly, no sign of the moon could be seen. The water was sludgy and slimy and green. And as 
they peered in, the bunyip jumped out with a smirk on his face and a triumphant shout. He cried, gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I did, and stuffed Charlie in a trash can with a tight-fitting lid. I'll have him for dinner, the cruel bunyip screamed with a little green slime and some sour cane toad cream. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> but as he caught Charlie, he had to let go of the balloon he was holding and ever so slow, it floated right up past the clouds and the trees. A big black balloon caught on a light breeze. But as it rose further, it grew and it grew. That black balloon popped and out the moon flew. She shone down on Stella and dizzy and smiled, said thanks for the rescue, though it took you a while. For now, I will do you a favour, you see. For when I am free, my stars can be free. And one by one from that green billabong, which honest and truly did awfully pong, popped a million small stars and some somewhat bigger. And around that green bunyip, they flickered and glittered till he slunk his way back into that dirty swamp and Charlie crawled out of his bin with a stomp and a few grumpy words but the moon only smiled and glittered and glowed in true moonly style Do you know what song we're going to sing now? Trio and waved up at the moon, her name being Cleo. And just in time, Charlie said with a pout, as they got to the porch and their batteries ran out. No more night adventures, they all did agree. But all's well that ends well for this crew of three. Sing along. Charlie the bird, Dizzy the elfling, Stella. Finding the fun and adventure of two It's always a jazzy to do All's well that ends well with Charlie Dizzy and Stale On the piano keyboard, Chris Foster. On the double bass, Nick Abbey. On the drums, Michael Perkins. Please also thank Mark Turner, who's done our sound and our video and everything today. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> we got one more little song for you, just to finish off. Join in. This is where Friends forever, always friends. This is where our story ends. This is where our story ends. This is where our story ends. Friends forever, always friends. This is where our story ends. This is where our story ends. We also need an 
absolutely fantastic round of applause for our story writer, Melanie Bainbridge, who is in the room with us today. And our illustrator, Genevieve Clements. 